We often think that breathing is just something our bodies do automatically, something we don't need to think about. But what if I told you that the way you breathe could be directly affecting your spirit, your energy, and your connection to your higher self? What if shallow breathing is slowly draining your life force and keeping you from experiencing the fullness of your existence? You see, breath is life. Every inhale and exhale is more than just a physical function, it's a bridge between the body, the mind, and the spirit. Yet so many of us are breathing shallow, barely taking in enough oxygen, barely allowing ourselves to be fully alive. Have you ever noticed how, when you're stressed, your breathing becomes shallow and rapid? It's like your body is trying to survive on the bare minimum. This shallow breathing traps us in survival mode, where fear, anxiety, and tension rule our bodies. You can't think clearly, you can't feel deeply, and your connection to the divine becomes faint a whisper instead of the vibrant, guiding force it's meant to be. Shallow breathing is like living in a box that's too small for your soul. It restricts not only the flow of air, but also the flow of energy, the flow of spirit. There is a deep and powerful connection between the breath and the spirit. When we breathe shallow, we block the very essence of life from moving through us freely. Click subscribe to this channel to get more profound spiritual lesson. Take a moment and ask yourself, how are you breathing right now? Are your breaths deep and full or are they short and shallow? The answer might surprise you. Most of us don't even realize that we're breathing in a way that limits our capacity to feel, to be present, and to connect with the higher dimensions of our being. Shallow breathing keeps us trapped in the mind, in the endless loop of overthinking and stress. It keeps us locked in lower vibrations because we're not allowing the full expansion of our energy. When you breathe deeply, you invite life in. You invite spirit in. One of the most profound signs that you're breathing shallow and killing your spirit is a constant feeling of exhaustion, even when you're not physically tired. This isn't just physical fatigue, it's spiritual fatigue. It's the weight of living disconnected from your true source of energy. You might feel like you're always running on empty, like no amount of sleep or rest can replenish you. That's because shallow breathing starves your spirit of the oxygen it needs to thrive. When you breathe deeply, you're not just feeding your body, you're feeding your soul. Another sign is a lack of clarity in your life. When we breathe shallow, our minds become clouded, foggy. It's like trying to see through a dirty window. You can't think clearly, you can't make decisions with confidence, and you feel disconnected from your intuition. Deep, conscious breathing clears that fog. It brings you back to the present moment, where all the answers you need reside. It's in the present that we find our power, our clarity, and our connection to the divine. But when we're breathing shallow, we're stuck in a fog of confusion and doubt, unable to tap into the wisdom that's always available to us. Shallow breathing also affects your emotional state. When we don't breathe deeply, we don't allow ourselves to fully process and release emotions. They get stuck, trapped in our bodies, creating tension and blockages in our energy field. This is why so many people feel like they're carrying the weight of the world on their shoulders. They're not breathing deeply enough to release that weight. Deep breathing allows us to move through emotions, to feel them fully, and then let them go. It's a powerful tool for emotional healing, but when you're stuck in shallow breathing, you're holding onto emotional baggage that drains your spirit. Now, let's go deeper. Ask yourself this, what would change in your life if you started breathing deeply? 
What would happen if you made a conscious effort to expand your breath, to fill your lungs fully with each inhale and release completely with each exhale? You might start to notice that your body resists this at first. We've been conditioned to breathe shallow, to live small. But the more you practice deep breathing, the more you'll feel your spirit come alive. You'll feel the energy flowing through you more freely, and with that flow comes a sense of peace, clarity, and connection that you may not have experienced in a long time. As we continue this journey into the power of breath, let's talk about why deep breathing is so vital for reviving your energy and reconnecting with your spirit. You see, breathing deeply is not just about taking in more air, it's about expanding your entire being. It's about opening up to the flow of life, to the flow of divine energy that is always available to you. When you breathe deeply, you're telling the universe, I am ready to receive. I am ready to be fully alive. Shallow breathing, on the other hand, is like telling the universe, I'm just trying to get by. I'm not ready for more. One of the most profound effects of deep breathing is that it balances your nervous system. When we're stuck in shallow breathing, we're in a constant state of fight or flight. Our bodies are always on high alert, and this creates a state of chronic stress that drains our energy and weakens our spirit. Deep breathing activates the parasympathetic nervous system, which is responsible for rest, healing, and regeneration. It allows your body to shift out of survival mode and into a state of calm and relaxation, where true spiritual connection can occur. Have you ever noticed how, when you're in nature, your breath naturally deepens? There's a reason for that. Nature is in constant flow. It's always breathing, always moving with the rhythms of life. When you breathe deeply in nature, you're sinking your breath with the breath of the earth, and this creates a powerful connection that nourishes your spirit. But you don't need to be in nature to experience this. You can bring that same sense of flow and connection into your everyday life simply by becoming more aware of your breath. Another powerful benefit of deep breathing is that it helps to ground you. So often, we feel scattered, disconnected, like we're floating through life without any real sense of purpose or direction. This is a sign that you're not grounded in your body and your spirit is struggling to find its footing. Deep breathing brings you back into your body, back into the present moment. It anchors your spirit in the here and now, where all of your power resides. When you're grounded, you're able to move through life with more ease, more grace, and more confidence. You're no longer drifting, you're rooted in your being. But deep breathing isn't just about grounding, it's also about expansion. When you breathe deeply, you're expanding your energy field. You're creating more space for spirit to move through you, more space for creativity, more space for love, more space for joy. Shallow breathing keeps you contracted, small, limited. Deep breathing opens you up to the infinite possibilities of the universe. It allows you to expand beyond your limitations, beyond your fears, and step into the fullness of who you really are. So I ask you again, what would change in your life if you started breathing deeply? How would your energy shift if you made breath work a daily practice? The answer lies within you. It's time to awaken your spirit through the power of your breath. Now that we've explored the signs of shallow breathing and how it's killing your spirit, it's time to talk about how to integrate deep breathing into your daily life in a way that elevates your spirit and transforms your energy. The key to awakening through breath is consistency. It's about making deep, conscious breathing a part of your everyday routine, 
not just something you do in moments of stress. When you commit to breathing deeply every day, you're committing to your own spiritual growth and well-being. One of the most powerful practices you can incorporate into your life is breathwork meditation. This is a simple, yet profound practice where you focus entirely on your breath, allowing it to deepen and slow down naturally. Find a quiet space, close your eyes, and begin by taking a deep inhale through your nose, expanding your lungs fully. Hold for a moment, and then exhale slowly through your mouth, releasing any tension or stress. Repeat this for several minutes, allowing your breath to become your only focus. As you do this, notice how your body begins to relax, how your mind becomes clearer, and how your spirit feels more alive. Another powerful practice is mindful breathing throughout your day. You don't have to sit in meditation to practice deep breathing. You can do it while you're walking, working, or even having a conversation. The key is to stay aware of your breath and consciously choose to breathe deeply, even in the midst of daily activities. This keeps you grounded, centered, and connected to your spirit, no matter what's happening around you. It's also important to create an environment that supports deep breathing. If you're constantly in stressful or chaotic environments, it's going to be much harder to breathe deeply and stay connected to your spirit. Take a look at your surroundings. Are they peaceful? Are they conducive to relaxation and deep breathing? If not, consider making some changes to create a space where you can breathe deeply and feel at ease. Finally, remember that this is a journey. There will be days when you slip back into shallow breathing, and that's okay. The goal is not to be perfect, but to be aware. When you catch yourself breathing shallow, simply bring your attention back to your breath and choose to breathe deeply again. With time and practice, deep breathing will become your natural state, and as a result, your spirit will soar. So I leave you with this. Are you ready to reclaim your spirit through the power of your breath? The choice is yours, and the time to start breathing life back into your spirit is now.